Okay, so this question's uh, got lots of information, so we need to kind of be clear what we're doing. So, let's underline, so she's going to make some hot dogs, uh, she needs bread, so she needs bread roll and a sausage for each hot dog. Um, there are 40 bread rolls in a pack and 24 sausages in a pack. She bought exactly the same number of bread rolls and sausages. How many packs of bread rolls? Right, okay. So she's going to buy exactly the same number of bread rolls and sausages then we've got multiples then of 40 and 24 so we're looking here at doing the lowest common multiple so one of the ways of doing that is to write out the 40 times table so 40, 80, 120, 160 and write out the 24 times table and then when we find we've got the same number of peers then we know we've got the same number of sausages and the same number of bread rolls so 24, 48 72, keep adding 24, so add 20, then add 4, so 92, 96, add 20, 116, add 4, 120. Well, we can see now that 120 appears in both. So when it says how many packs of bread rolls and how many packs of sausages did she buy, well, this was for the bread and this was for the sausage. So she had the same number of breads rolls and the same number of sausages was 120 so she needed three packs of bread rolls and five packs of sausages one two three four five so it's three packs of bread rolls and five packs of sausages uh, how many hot dogs can she make well she uses one one roll for one sausage to make the hot dog, so it's one roll and one sausage. So she bought 120 bread rolls, so she's going to make 120 hot dogs. So 120 altogether.